What's poppin' beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very interesting. But before we get started, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. And, turns out, a person I went to high school with also has a YouTube channel. His channel is about movies, rating movies, and, you know, just movies in general. So I'm going to leave his channel name down below. I'm going to leave a link down below. So go ahead and check that out. I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe to his channel and leave a comment telling him that I sent you there. His channel name is Safi and Marco Dish Out on Movies. And I'm going to leave a couple more channels down there for you guys to check out. And last thing, excuse the background noise, it's the air conditioning. Anyway, let's get right into the movie. <laughs> All right, so the video today is going to consist of this palette right here. This is the Revolution, um, the Makeup Revolution London X Roxy palette. This is the Roxasaurus Color Burst palette. These are the shades, and I decided to give myself a little bit of a challenge. I'm gonna do my eye look with this, my highlight, and my blush. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll see. So as you can see, I already have my foundation, my bronzer, and my brows on, and my concealer, obviously, but everything else I'm going to do with this one palette. So. Let's get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go in with Bang Bang, this color right here, and I'm gonna attempt to put that in my crease. And you guys, I love this palette because it has a uh, mirror in it, and who doesn't love to have a mirror in their palette? Right off the bat, this is pretty soft, but it is pigmented. I only picked up a little, but I see color. And I've, ha I haven't used this palette yet. Um, so this is basically my first impression, as well as doing a full, full face with one palette. So we'll see how it goes. Next, I'm going to deepen out my crease with this color right here, Red Velvet. And I'm just going to take that on a crease brush right in my crease. Next, I'm going to take another fluffy blush and I'm going to go in with, that, with the color Coco right here. And... I'm gonna put a little bit in the outer corner of my eyes just to deepen that area up a little bit. And I'm just gonna take the brush that I used first and I'm just gonna blend everything out very slightly because I do not want harsh lines. I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip it into lemonade right here very very slightly and then I'm just gonna put it on top of the orange I'm gonna take an all over eyeshadow brush with this color right here, um, Golden Hour, and I am gonna put it all over my lid. Oh wow, that is pretty. Maybe if I damp, if I wet my brush, it'll be better. Oh, 
Oh yeah, much better. Now I'm going to go back with the brush that I used for the shade Coco and I'm just going to blend that in. I did not add any product to that brush, I'm just using whatever is left on it. Now I'm going to take a little smudging brush and I'm going to mix Bang and Red Velvet together, those two right here. I'm going to put them under my eye. And then I'm going to take an even smaller brush and I am going to wet it. I'm going to go in with Constellation right here. Constellations. I'm just going to take that and pack it in my inner corner. not as strong so I'm gonna take my finger and use that to brighten my inner corner I went a little overboard it's okay we can fix it I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of golden hour and just back that on there Alright, I guess that's it for the eyes. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that Constellations color and just put it under my brow bone. I noticed something in this palette. Um, the shimmery shades are better packed, not blended together. So I'm just packing Constellations under my brow bone to give it that little pop. That's it. Next, I'm going to take my Essence White Eyeliner and I'm gonna put that on my bottom waterline. And now I'm gonna move on to my lashes. Lashes are combed and curled and now I'm going to prime my lashes with the Mary Kay lash primer and now I'm gonna go in with my Mary Kay Lash Love Fanorama Mascara this is our new mascara for the summer line um, and it's limited edition so if you want one you gotta get one because they are not staying for long. And what I like to do at the end, I like to take a clean mascara wand and just brush my lashes. And then go back with a little bit of mascara on the top, very, very top of my lashes. That is it for the eyes. Next, we need blush. And like I said, we're using this palette also for blush and highlight. Um, Alright, let's see. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Peaches and a little bit of Fetch. Those two right here. Those two pink colors. Oh, that is pigmented. It's a very pretty color though. I'm not mad about it. Gotta go to the grocery store after this. Um, I think I'm gonna look a little crazy going to the grocery store. Oh, uh, that's a little bit too much. That is definitely a lot of pink. I look sunburnt, but <laughs> we can save it. I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and just dab it on there just to tame it down.
Alright, it's looking a lot better now. Alright, I can live with that. Still looks crazy. But it's okay. Alright, now I'm gonna go in with Constellations again to highlight the bridge of my nose. Actually, let's take a little bit of Golden Hour as well. Mm, no, no, uh, uh don't like it. I'm gonna stick with Constellations. Alright. Oh, a mix of both looks good. Okay. Bridge of the Nose is highlighted. And then I'm gonna take a Golden Hour and Constellation and boop my nose. I'm gonna take those two colors on my Cupid's bow. Then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. highlight brush and I'm gonna dip it in Golden Hour and Constellations. Again, those two colors are those right here. And highlight. Ooh. That's a very subtle and pretty highlight. I am not mad at it. All right, face is done. Let's move on to lips. I'm gonna go in with the Mary Kay lipstick in the shade Trademark Pink. And now I'm gonna go in with the Mary Kay Nora Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Luster. I'm going to set my face with the Makeup Finishing Spray from Mary Kay. And here we go, this is the finished look. I'm surprised. I really, really like this palette. I really like the shades in it. I love what I did with my eye look. Um, the blush is a little too much. Maybe I should have just used peaches alone. But I really like this. The highlight is really pretty. And again, I used an eyeshadow palette for all of this. Um, except for foundation and brows, obviously. Even though I could have used cocoa for my brows. But it's okay. It's okay. We got to a good place. And I love this. This is a really, really good palette. I highly recommend it if you guys like bold colors. And everything I used will be linked down below. Um, and as well as the Mary Kay stuff that I used. And I'm also going to link my website down there, my Mary Kay website, for you guys. If you want to check something out, if you want to buy something, you can buy it from my website. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm in love with this. Um, I don't look as crazy as I thought I would look. So yeah, that's it. Bye guys, see you in the next one.